Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video. You're having a look at the ECMDF 30 day model for today's first video. That's going to take us through pretty much whole of October. And uh, we'll see what the ECM is forecasting in terms of the temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next four weeks across the UK and the rest of Europe as well. Unfortunately, we can't show you mean sea level pressure or 500 millibar height tolerance, but you can get a rough idea of what modern is forecasting from its temperature and precipitation anomalies. So that's what we're going to do for this uh, first video today. Coming up later on today, we're going to have your week's 10-day video update. That will include all of breaking features, and we'll be talking, of course, about uh, the remains of Hurricane Lorenzo as well, I'm quite sure. Uh, tonight, we've got Terry Scully's October forecast coming up for you, so that's going to be quite an interesting read. Uh, right, so this is how the week one temperature anomaly is looking. Uh, week 40 for the year. It's week one for our forecast period and it's taking us from the 30th of September through to the 6th of October. And it was pretty cold, actually, for northern parts of Europe, quite substantially below average temperatures there for uh, Scandinavia. So uh, on the scale, we're kind of going down to uh, between 3 and 6 degrees below average. So early bite of winter, perhaps, in some parts of uh, central northern Scandinavia. Anyway, more widely, in many of these um, sort of uh, central, northern and western parts of Europe, we're coming out rather below average. So quite a cool week on the way for this first week of October. Temperatures widely between around a degree or a couple of degrees below average there through many parts of central, northern and western Europe. It really is down through the Mediterranean, that you have to go to find warm and average temperatures, so looking nice and warm across Spain and Portugal. Central bowl of Mediterranean looks pretty warm, including the holiday islands, and down into the southeast looks very warm through parts of uh, Greece and particularly over towards Turkey. Up the eastern side of uh, Europe, it's closer to average there with the temperature anomaly, although getting into southern parts of Russia, it's a little bit warmer than average there, going down towards uh, the Black Sea. Precipitation-wise, it's a bit of a mixed bag uh, as well. So we've got a swathe of wetter conditions, above average precipitation from Ireland out in the far west of the UK, of course, over towards the west of Russia. It's kind of like a swathe of unsettled weather. It looks like it's probably where we're bringing the jet stream through. Actually, to the north, across parts of Scandinavia and out into the Norwegian Sea, it's drier than average. So this is indicative of normal blocking. Of course, that's what's going to be pushing the cold air down into Scandinavia. We've got high pressure there. We'll be pushing cold air down into the, uh, particularly the northern and eastern part of Scandinavia and possibly back into the northwest of uh, Russia. Away from Scandinavia and probably from northern part of Scotland, generally it is looking quite unsettled in the week ahead with above average precipitation. Going down into Mediterranean, a bit of an east-west split. So um, from Italy westwards through the holiday islands of uh, Corsica, and Sardinia and also the Balearic Islands, I mean, over to Spain and Portugal, it's drier than average. To the east of Italy, from the Adriatic and the Balkans, down into the southeast of Europe, including Greece, uh, it does look a little bit wetter than average through those regions. So the driest conditions in the far north over Scandinavia and also in the far southwest of Europe in the week ahead. Don't look too bad at all for a late, uh, late summer or early autumn holiday to Spain. That's how uh, things are looking in week two. It's week 41 for the year. It takes us from the 7th to the 13th of October. Still a pretty cool scene through many northern parts of uh, Europe. So again, we've got Scandinavia here coming out with below average temperatures and going back into western parts of Russia as well. It's not quite as cold as it is in week one, but nevertheless, one to three degrees below average widely across northern Europe is pretty significantly below average. Uh, most other areas are sort of close to average, so either have no signal, but actually since it's week two, probably more likely, but just generally quite close to average, really through those central parts of Europe, from kind of like the UK and down to France, and then east was into the low countries, Germany, and then on into that eastern part of Europe, through, um, through uh, Ukraine and down towards the Black Sea. All those areas are kind of like close to average, with the temperature anomaly in this week. And I suspect rather than having no signal, that is genuinely sort of average temperatures. Ireland looks a little bit warm and average, nice and warm across Spain and Portugal. It looks a little bit cooler through the central bowl of the Med over towards Italy and possibly cooling a little bit down into uh, the southeast of the Med as well. 
over towards Greece and Turkey. Definitely the coldest conditions, though, across northern parts of Europe. Rainfall-wise, uh, we're looking like this. So, uh, still plenty of dry weather here across France, Spain and Portugal. So, obviously, there's a ridge of high pressure down there. Um, bit dry on average across the north of Scandinavia. Otherwise, again, uh, sort of average to above average precipitation. Looks pretty wet in the southeast corner, by the way. So, if parts of Italy and around the age, out into the Balkans, going down towards at least western parts of Greece. It does look uh, quite wet, actually, in uh, in this week from the 7th to the 13th of October. And generally a little bit above average, really, for most parts of uh, Europe. The UK and Ireland is average to probably a little bit on the wet and average side. And eastern parts of Europe are also looking quite uh, unsettled in this week. Of course, across Scandinavia, uh, we do have to think about snow here as temperatures are becoming quite cold in the next couple of weeks and there is going to be precipitation uh, around. I think we could see some early season snowfalls across particularly mountainous uh, and northern regions of, Scotland, of um, Scandinavia, but not necessarily exclusively so. This is how the temperature normally looks in week three. This takes us from the 14th to the 20th of October. By now, I think the signal is genuinely starting to uh, weaken and fade. So it uh, looks a little bit colder than average in those central parts of Scandinavia, again, particularly focused around uh, Norway. Warmer than average down towards Spain, Portugal, and into the central bowl of the Mediterranean. Uh, and just a little bit above average with the temperature there in the extreme southeast of Europe. But otherwise, it's just a sea of white, which is either average or no signal. And as this is week three for our forecast period, it's taking us into the second half of October, so it's quite a long way out. I expect this is genuinely sort of no signal now. The model is just struggling to uh, pick up that much of a signal. Precipitation-wise, again, quite weak signals, as we often find in weeks three and four. So down in the southwestern corner still, driving average through southern parts of France, down to Spain, Portugal, into the Mediterranean, uh, to Italy. It's generally uh, on the dry of an average side there, so it looks like there's some sort of ridge of high pressure sitting very close to Spain and probably extending back into the islands of the Azores. Going further north, as it looks a little bit on the uh, wet of an average side through parts of the UK and Ireland, southern parts of Scandinavia, so sort of Denmark, up to southern Norway and Sweden, just a little bit on the above average side of precipitation there. And possibly around the Baltic Sea as well, a little bit uh, above average too. Otherwise, just lots of white going on, which of course, again, is no signal uh, as we get through to the third week. And then finally, this is how things are looking in week four, which is the 21st, 27th of October. So, again, very, very weak signals. There's nothing really decipherable uh, about this now. We can say that Spain and Portugal still have a signal to be uh, a bit drier than average, uh, a bit warmer than average, I should say. Uh, otherwise, again, just loads of white. It's a bit warmer than average around Iceland. Uh, but loads of white, so that's no signal, and uh, there's nothing there that we can work with, really, from a temperature perspective. And that much the same, actually, uh, precipitation-wise. This is, again, week four precipitation from 21st, 27th of October. So the signals are just so weak that um, there's nothing useful to be gleaned here in the fourth week. I suppose, possibly, this far west, northwest corner could be looking a little bit wet and average, so maybe hints about the unsettled condition that we have in the first half of October in the west of Europe, particularly around Ireland and the UK, possibly continuing to the second half. The eastern part of Europe may be a weak, very weak signal to be slightly drier than average, but again, otherwise there's nothing, uh, the signals are not strong enough to be able to gain any sort of useful information there. So, certainly the first half of uh, October is looking unsettled through many northern, western, central parts of Europe, and also quite cold across northern Europe, particularly Scandinavia, in the next couple of weeks. I think there will be some early Scandinavian snow to come in the next couple of weeks. Um, particular mountainous areas, but not necessarily uh, exclusively so, possibly some snow down to lower levels as well. But Mediterranean looks quite warm in the next couple of weeks, I think, and uh, certainly over towards Spain anyway, uh, it looks relatively dry. So if you want to take a late, uh, a late summer or early autumn holiday, then Spain and that central bar of Mediterranean, Ibiza, Mallorca, Menorca, those sort of areas 
will be the place to go, I think. Looks pretty decent there. Otherwise, though, uh, many northern, western, central parts of Europe have been quite unsettled. And for northern Europe, also quite cold in the next couple of weeks. Beyond that, the signals are just too weak to be able to get all that much useful information. It's just a snapshot of what Modern is showing uh, today. It could all look very different next week. Any forecast beyond five to uh, ten days is going to be coming with a huge health warning. So, um... Could all look completely different next week. We'll be back later on with your week 10 day video update, which will include all of the user features. And of course, we'll be talking about the latest developments with remains of Hurricane Lorenzo in today's uh, second video. So come back for that then. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.